Good morning. Um, my little caterpillar from yesterday did not make it. It was another deformity. Um, so it did not form its chrysalis properly and was not viable. So I ended up euthanizing. And since that is it for my caterpillar season, I'm clearing away all of my stuff. Everything is going to get soaked in bleach and put away for next year. I am very bummed that the season has come to an end, but I will be looking forward to next year. I had five of clothes yesterday four very healthy looking butterflies and one with deformed wings and I don't know if she's going to make it. She was weak even as she had closed. I don't see any signs of OE with the naked eye and one of the things I'm planning for next year is to get a microscope so that I can test for OE. Got another pretty girl right there. She's been hanging out on the flowers. Uh, with the cold snap I've been keeping them for 24 hours before releasing so that they are as strong as they possibly can be to survive the cold nights. I have three chrysalides left in here, uh, one of which is starting to darken. The other two, they are still working on it. And then I have one more up here. I don't think this one is going to make it. Come on, focus. It is still green. It's not brown. It's not black. It does have some weird black marks on it. And I don't know why my camera is not focusing. But you can see the weird kind of black spots. I don't think it's viable, but I'm going to give it time. Uh, these guys, I'm going to wait until about noon when it's as warm as it possibly can be and release them. I'm toying around with the idea of keeping them an additional day, bringing in some more flowers, some more Gatorade. And, uh, because it's supposed to be warmer. I think tonight's going to be the coldest, and then tomorrow it'll be a little bit warmer. So, I don't know. It's hard to hold them because they, they want to fly. They want to be free. And I don't like keeping them captive if I don't have to. So decision to make for later but we've got four healthy ones and that's good if this one can fly I will release her but I don't think she'll be able to you can see how crooked her wings are um, I mean even the top wings are not straight so, I suspect she's not going to be able to fly. Um, but I'm going to give her the best shot I can. I'm going to try to give her some flying lessons, give her some time to, I, I guess, give her uh, physical therapy. Is basically what I'm going to do for her, or hopefully do for her. I have heard of physical therapy working um, for other butterflies so I might have to spend some time working with her and see if we can get her to fly even with her not quite so aerodynamic wings 
So we shall see, but at least we've got four. <clears throat> four nice healthy ones. Um, my final assessment of the milkweed replacement diet, I would not suggest it. It's very difficult to keep the containers clean. My cases of bacterial infection increased um, <clears throat> while they were on it because it is a very moist environment. The food, the replacement food is damp and a damp environment is a breeding ground for bacteria. So I think that was a contributing factor to my bacterial infections that I had going on. Um, I suppose it would work in a pinch. Um, if you get them young enough and maybe use it from first, first to third instar and then transition them to uh, actual milkweed as soon as they molt to fourth instar. Um, other than that, I, I really, I can't, I can't advise it after how many I lost from bacterial infections and uh, we, know, we all know how I am about cleanliness. It's hard to keep it clean, and there's no such thing as too clean when it comes to caterpillars. The cleaner, the better. The more you can bleach and disinfect everything, the better, as long as you wash all the bleach off. Um, so the more sterile the environment, the better. And it's very hard to keep a sterile environment when you have a moist, damp, messy food. Uh, <clears throat> so that's my overall assessment of the milkweed replacement diet. It's a shame. Um, I was really, I had high hopes for it, given the milkweed shortages and how much everybody is uh, looking for milkweed and in need of milkweed. So, um, my plan for once once these guys are gone, I will be starting seeds for multiple milkweed species. Uh, the plan is to get about 200 plants started. And I will share some with friends and neighbors who might be interested in having some. But I'm going to keep the bulk of it for myself. I have uh, grow lights to help encourage faster growth as seedlings. And that's in addition to my established plants that I have this year and from the previous year. Um, let's say I still have five outside. Oh, not five, I have nine outside. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 established plants currently. And I would like to increase that quite a bit. Some of, uh, as I've already mentioned, some of the plants will be indoor plants, my tropicals, and my uh, freeze intolerant plants will be house plants. So it might get a little jungly in here and they don't look like much right now but <laughs> they are coming back we've got new growth coming out of this one the new growth down here new growth here some new growth up top here here this one was eaten down to almost nothing and we've got quite a bit of new growth going on there. My little heart leaf is doing well. New growth with a new stem. Yay for new stem. And these are actually putting out new leaves on the stem as well as up at top. So that'll be a good thing for next year. And I will keep these in and just let them grow and then get a bunch of seedlings started. 
trying to get some cuttings to take. Hopefully they will. I haven't had much luck with propagating from cuttings from this variety, but we will have to wait and see if I can get any traction on the cuttings. This is just a handy stick that I found. Uh, worked well for encouraging caterpillars to move from one location to the other. Because as we know, we don't touch the caterpillars. And my butterfly obsession started way before <laughs> the monarchs. So I've got a pretty little fake butterfly there. And I will use that as a reminder of what's to come next season. Uh, so I'll try to get some video of the releases today if I decide to release them and not hold them another day. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the season's coming to a close. I'm sad. But I am looking forward to next year. And, uh, yeah, I'll try to keep you updated on my poor little girl here. She's been on the Gatorade ball all night, so hopefully she's been eating. She closed yesterday morning. So, fingers crossed. I have hope. Uh, I had one that was deformed quite a bit worse than her. Uh, it was a chrysalis that fell while it was still soft and I was at work, so I wasn't able to rehang it till I got home. And he closed with deformed wings and was able to fly, so there's always hope. And that's pretty much it for this morning as everything's winding down. Um, we don't have as much going on. But in the coming days when I start uh, working on my milkweed seed, uh, I'll give you some tips and pointers on the best way to get the seed started. It's not as simple as sprinkling it in the backyard and letting it come up. I had bad luck with that technique. There was actually... <laughs> it's kind of tricky to get started from seed, but it can be done and it's not too hard. So once these guys are done and I am starting with the Operation Milkweed, we will get, I'll, got, you know, I'll, I'll do some videos of what I'm doing and what I've had uh, luck with in the past and what I will hopefully have luck with this uh, growing season. And that's it for this morning. Say goodbye, beautiful. And have a good day. Oh, almost forgot, uh, a nice little trick for tagging your butterflies. Um, I have a big piece of cloth, you can see part of it here. Before I tag them, I cover the entire enclosure with the dark cloth for a couple of hours. They take a nap, they just kind of go to sleep and roost, kind of like what they're doing right now. And it makes them a lot, it makes them sleepy. So when you grab them and put the tag on them, they're not as wiggly. And since I started doing that, I haven't messed up any more tags. So yay for that. <laughs> Handy trick for those who are interested. And that's, that's it for this morning. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Well, have a good day, everybody.